Hey guys, Devoni Plays, and welcome to a tutorial video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a portable Raspberry Pi. Now, here are all the parts you're going to need. First, you're going to need, of course, the Raspberry Pi. You're also going to need a screen, and I chose this one. Everything will be in the description. The, the screen comes with a little case. This is the top, and then I already have the Raspberry Pi mounted on the bottom. You're going to need to power the Raspberry Pi, obviously. So I have this portable charger, 6,000 milliamp hour, I think. It has a wall mount on it, so you can plug it right in the wall to charge it. And on the side, it also has a micro USB built in, which we can plug right into the Pi to power it. We don't even need a separate cable. It came with one, but it was a really, really short one, but this one's more convenient. You're also going to need a controller, and we're going to put this whole thing, whenever we build it, into this phone clip that the controller comes with. You also need an SD card with uh, RetroPie or whatever you have, whatever you're going to use on it. The screen is touchscreen, by the way. Uh, the screen comes with everything you need to build with the case. Um, there are no extras, it looks like, so like extra screws or anything, so make sure you don't lose anything. And yeah, so let's start building it. So first we have the Pi. I already have it mounted on. He's got to screw it in and everything. And then you're going to take the screen. This is going to plug into here. You're just going to line it up. Make sure it lines up with the HDMI on the back. And just push, plug that in. There you go. And then we're going to take this, which comes with it. It's the HDMI adapter. Plug them into both sides. Make sure it fits in the whole way. Oh, we're not. That's why. I might be plugging it in the wrong way. It looks like this is bent. It's weird. It's bent. I don't think it's fitting. Hold on. No, I think I'm just being stupid. Hold on. We have an issue. All right, so I found out that the HDMI adapter came bent, and I had to take a screwdriver and, like, forcefully, like, open it to make it fit in the two HDMI ports because it wouldn't. But it looks like it is in now, and... Hopefully it works, I'm hoping. And if not, I'm gonna have to tell them it came bent. So yeah, let's continue. So now we need to put this together, the last little part, so. All right, I thought I put it on wrong for a second there, but I think we're right. So it looks to be in there correctly. So now, what's nice about this pocket juice is, uh, well, we're gonna have to tape this obviously onto here, but uh, what's nice about the pocket juice is that you can put this, you can line it up, but you can also still see the lights to know how much power you got. So let's just line this up here. And then I, <laughs> I don't have any double-sided tape, so I found this mounting wall sticky stuff. So this is gonna have to do. Now, I'm, I'm definitely going to get some sticky tape, but I didn't have any at the moment, and I wanted to get this all recorded, so also take that off. All right, so now we have our Raspberry Pi all mounted to the portable charger. That's what it is. So now we can take this and plug it right into the screen, which will also supply power to the Pi, and it's actually already turning on because this is on. And if we look here, give it a second, and I think... Oh, right, Raspberry Pi's not in. Forgot to put that in the Pi. You wanna take your SD card with Raspberry Pi on it, or whatever, not Raspberry Pi, um, Retro Pi or whatever you're using. Plug that in, and Raspberry Pi should load up, or Retro Pi should load up. There we go, Retro Pi. As you can see, this does not do the whole screen size, and I will put a file, a, a text file, or whatever you wanna call it, um, in the description to make it full screen. You'll have to put it on the SD card in a certain spot and uh, it'll work. So now it's ready to start. No gamepad de detected. That's because we have our controller right here. Now the good thing about this specific controller is it comes with a USB dongle, wireless USB dongle that you can plug right into the Pi to connect the controller. 
or the controller is also Bluetooth, or it also comes with a wire to charge it, which you can plug right into the Pi if you really wanted to also. So there's four USB ports on the Pi, so we just plug it into one of them. And if we turn on the controller, and then we hit A. Well, first, of course, this is portable, right? We gotta put it into the phone clip. Now we can press anything to configure our controllers. And now we are in RetroPie. We can go into a game. Oh, also, also there's no speakers on the screen, so you're gonna have to um, plug in headphones to the jack on the screen, which is, or the Pi, which isn't that bad, so. Okay, F0. So now it should load up and look at that. Look at that. Bam. Choose a car. Yes. Bam. Let's go. Beginner. There we go. And we have a working Raspberry Pi portable with a portable charger, screen, Raspberry Pi, all together with a controller. And we are in business. I think it's three to four hours of gameplay depending on what games you play. And uh, yeah, we should be good. And if you want the full screen, like I said, there is a um, text file in the description. You can put that on your SD card and you should be good to go. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you can get notified exactly when I upload and stream. Because you don't want to miss that. And I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this cool tutorial. I am... I've always wanted to do something like this. I already have a regular Raspberry Pi uh, to hook up to the TV, but I've also kind of wanted to do a portable, so I got all this, and it works pretty well. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.